If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, today we have the Kone card to check out, the storyline Kone. This is obviously for the level 40 players, for people are for people that are interested in uh potentially getting these guys with Kone guys we're taking a look at someone who is six foot one medium medium work rates four star skill moves for uh three star weak foot guys because he's a taller player um and obviously probably going to be more physical oriented I feel like it's going to be very important to make this card basically your defensive oriented card guys listen if I get a shot with the card great but a lot of the times you don't often score with your midfielders in this game I'm going to be honest like four four twos like maybe you'll get some opportunities where like the center mid has an opportunity to score and stuff. But if you're playing 4-2-3-1 and stuff, it's a little bit harder in my opinion, right? So we'll see. We'll see what the vibes are with that. But with Kone, on a shadow chemistry style, we're boosting the pace to be as high as possible as, as well as the defense. If I feel like I don't really care about making him a controlled lengthy player because his defensive stats are massively improved in certain areas then I'll just leave him on the Shadow Chemistry style, right? Like, I feel like it might make the most sense anyways because of boosting the acceleration, boosting the sprint speed, shooting being in a better area, passing being in the 90s area, which obviously is very, very good for general build-up play, dribbling in the mid-80s area, some in the 90s as well. He is a person that is a high and average plus, right? So again, that midfield setup to be the type of guy that just defends for you really nicely, I feel like it's going to be very ideal. He's a person who has Tiki Taka, slide tackle technical as well as the flair so no crazy like defensive play styles on the card i'm even going to check in game just to make sure yeah so it's just those four pretty much uh just the slide tackle slide tackle is like it's cool but like you shouldn't really use it that much in certain situations right like it's mainly it's mainly uh doing some other stuff right but i gotta give him the shadow chemistry style so that i make sure i boost his defensive capabilities um yeah, so because we have Coughlin in the other position and he has the four-star weak foot, it's actually good because his Kone card is a right-footed player, so you can play him over on that right-hand side. But yeah, the last thing is uh, his physical stats, right? His physical stats is in a very good area too. 80s, mid-80s area, 91 for jumping. Like, he should have a very solid physical presence in the midfield setup. You know, it, it should be... Uh, a really huge thing to work with so yeah we'll see how he plays uh, it'll be the uh 4 2 3 1 as usual um this one right here and we'll play him over on the right hand side because again Coughlin has the le uh the four star weak foot on the left hand side so yeah we'll see how he plays hopefully he is a beast Sometimes you tackle just for the aggression, you know? Didn't get anything there, though. Of course, Mbappe has that attacking AI. Just holds the position well. Good initial pass, though. See that aggressiveness? He actually does a pretty good job with that stuff. Good stuff, good build up. Nice goal. We'll take that. Good stuff, boys. Is it a foul? It is. I do notice that when he does a challenge, though, it's pretty aggressive, man. Those tackles are kind of crazy for him. I do fancy shots when I'm trying to do an L trigger, like a Trivella. That's so annoying, man. And of course, if I have Mbappe, I'm just quickness, bro. That's all it is. Like cheating. No tackle there. I get that one, though. Nice. Look at this guy. I'm cheating, bro. Literally cheating with this guy. First half display, and just look at that score. 
I'll take that challenge. Okay, cool. It's weird that it does that. Like when I'm running and then it pauses the game, it goes to my friends list right away. <laughs> oh, dude. Amazing. <laughs> Griezmann in the cam position with Mbappe up top. Uh, lol. Beauty, good challenge. Wilson with it. That's eye catching wide play. I mean, he did try. Didn't get an animation off, but he did try to get that uh, cut off angle. Extra touches I didn't expect. But we're still good. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Nice. Nice job, boys. Hey man, started from a defensive play there, so we'll take it. Good stuff. giveaway by him. Griezmann is so good in that cam position because of those high, high work rates. He's really aggressive towards getting that ball back, I'm telling you. Oh, I put way too much power. I wanted to get the green, that's why, because Mbappe is so overpowered, man. But it's a, it was a good uh, initial build-up, though. Crazy reach there. Never know. Sometimes I do it. Little fake shot. R1. R1 again. R1 again. Little dribble, 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 dribble again, dribble again. Well, he's physical. I don't expect him to be crazy. See, that's what I'm saying. Like people are like, oh, you know, you gotta shoot with the card, but it's like. If he's that physical oriented, you're not really going to get that many opportunities. You know what I mean? Maybe like a Trivello from outside of 18, but. And that puts him in position. Thomas Partey. Partey. No crazy defensive animation there. That's me doing a manual challenge. Doesn't get rewarded that often, eh? Those manual challenges. Well, the slide tackle definitely more than the regular tackle, but I'll take it. Annual challenge again, let's go. That works. Oh, that was good. Didn't get full possession, but it was a bad uh, giveaway there. Yeah, that one he actually does a challenge good. Literally overpowered, man. <laughs> oh, he's so overpowered, bro. What is this card? I mean, I would do the same, bro. Mbappe is like... Mbappe just... It, Mbappe makes you better. Like, that's what it is. He makes you better. Nice use. Good use of physical there. Nice. 
Oh, get it, get it, get it. Nice. And that's what happens when you have Finesse Shot Plus. Very good. Nice, does well there. Hold on, hold on. Okay. A chance to get something going here. Looking to put the cross in. Ocelan. Encouraging signs for the attack. Nice. Shoot. Oh, that's not properly away. Defense does its work. Nicely done. Hold on. Teo Hernandez. Nice. Mbappe. Mendy. Speak easily here. It might still happen. Oh, well, what happened there? Like I shot the ball twice. You you just you don't want to do anything? That's fine, man. No problem. No problem. Mbappe? Even Mbappe can't, uh, you know. Well done. Nice lob. If that was a goal, it would have been warranted, man. Mbappe overpowered beast. Get the tackle off, nice. Oh, of course, Mbappe has that a shooting animation. Not everybody does, but I'll tell you that for free. See what Cochlin did right, right there? You don't want to do that. Kone saves me, though. Oh, I kind of messed that up. I should have done like a law pass because now it's like a lot of pressure tactics. So hopefully it's a good lob. Ah, he forced a, a pass. That's why he forced an animation. Beauty of a challenge, man. That's what I needed. What just happened right there? Did it just tell me that, dude? Your your game, EA, your game, your game, and I don't. I I actually I I don't understand because I'm gonna go into this right away. What is wrong with your game? With your absolute nuisance to society video game, man? I thought this was just in 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 squad battles. Did you just do this? Is it is it my opponent that's glitching me out when I beat him because he's a rat? Is it him that's doing it, or is it your absolutely garbage servers that is making me disconnect right now, man? What is it? I need to know what it is, man. I need to know what it is because I just got the loss for that, right? Your your game is a piece of garbage. I actually don't understand, man. I don't understand. I do not understand how I can finish a game and I don't get my results, man. Sorry, guys. It's just, you know, it's mad annoying when you, uh, like, it just doesn't make sense. 
I don't want to be that guy. It doesn't make sense. Okay. Okay. Guys, with the, the selections between the storyline cards, right? Um, you know, you're going to choose between Mateusz Cunha, this Kone card, or there's also a fodder pack here, right? So the fodder pack is an 86 plus times three. So here's what I'm going to tell you guys between all of the options that you have, okay? I think that for the meta of the game, longevity wise, Kone will make more sense to get because he fits the meta a little bit more. Why? Because with this card on a shadow chemistry style or even an anchor, if you really want to make him that controlled lengthy player, I thought a shadow was fine because I work with the extra interceptions, the sliding tackles, right? Which I like a lot personally. It works with his height and all that kind of stuff. This card on a shadow chemistry style being mainly a defensive player because listen he has shooting capabilities guys but a card like this you're not going to attack often with especially in this game it's mainly you know defensive capabilities for the most part it's getting the passes off to players and whatnot i feel like these bigger guys the six foot one the tackles that they make and stuff these guys just make more sense for longevity in this game because if i were to go to the bundesliga players in general and i were to search uh center mid cdms and I were to go to just the Bundesliga in general. Let's see the selections that they have, right? So Yasuo is not the same type of player, right? Keyword type. So that's already chalked. Goretzka is a little bit different as well because Kone is a medium medium. Goretzka is a high medium that could potentially push forward. Um, and then, I mean, you don't really have any other options, Right, unless you did Ryan Gravenberch, like it's extinct, obviously, because he's I don't even I don't even know if this card exists because he's a Liverpool player, right? But as you can see, there's not really any other like crazy option, right? So for longevity and for people that are building Bundesliga, uh, a team with Bundesliga players, like let's say for instance you have Musiala in your team, uh, you have Alfonso Davies, or you have like any Bayern players or anything like that, this card is going to be the better option. For future links and right now because like i said he fits the meta a little bit more um than mateos cunha in my opinion now there's also the other thing where it's like if you don't need any of these two cards and you decide to go with fodder because you want to use that fodder towards an spc player that you actually like that also wouldn't be a bad choice but with kone guys you know he doesn't have defensive play styles i i do thoroughly believe that defensive play styles actually makes a really huge difference uh, in regards to, you know, anticipate, bruiser. Like, I'll give you guys the example, right? So, Shua Mane's card, just as an example, this card, if he gets any sort of promo card in the future, he's going to be nuts because he has anticipate, he has bruiser, he has uh, intercept. All of those are incredibly noticeable in-game when it comes to defensive capabilities. But like I said, guys, if you had a card like this lined up with Shua Mane, right? and you're working with the Bundesliga players, that is going to be a very key thing to work with. So that's gonna be something that you really have to take into consideration because this card, like I said, it does play pretty decently in the meta of the gameplay. Now, obviously in regards to comparisons between like actual meta midfielders, you know, you got your Valverde's, but obviously he costs a lot of money, right? But Valverde's card, just the rare gold version, honestly, this card is fantastic. Anchor chemistry style. He's a controlled lengthy player. Like these are like the types of players you would have to go up until to get that uh, final upgrade. But yeah, Kone just seems like a good selection from the players that you currently see, especially for that Bundesliga part. That's the really big one for you to kind of split your team in two or, in two or three, depending on how you want to build it. Right. Uh, but like I said, if you ended up going with the fodder and you, you know, get lucky, you get one of the promo cards or you're using it towards SBCs because some of the SBCs are very expensive and it drops down the price a lot because listen, it's 86 plus, right? So if you go to players right now and you were to search the 86 plus minimum rating, so let's just go 86 and minimum rating. We'll go to price on that as well. 86 minimum rating. It's going to be around here, right? So you're basically saving yourself minimum, right? Because you could get higher rating as well. You're, you're saving yourself like 27, maybe 30, 40 K on an SBC. That's like potentially a little bit more expensive. So there's different ways of looking at it. Like I said, I think Kone is more of a meta option compared to Mateusz Cunha. I think Mateusz Cunha will be more, will be a car that trends a little bit more because he's Brazilian from the Premier League and he gets you those certain links. A lot of people are probably going to do like, I can see them doing like runs with like Juan Pedro and Mateusz Cunha together and do something with that. Right. But, um, 
yeah, that's my thoughts on both of the cards. So yeah, th this card still performed pretty well. Um, definitely gonna be a very solid option to work with if you're squad building a certain way for sure. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'm sorry for the ending parts, but I, you guys know how I am. I have to, you know, so I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.